What's up guys, so it's Matt here. Today we are going to be going up to Porman Road here in Boulder, Colorado to do an effort on a climb. Uh, the climb's a little under a mile long. It's around a 9% average gradient. It's all on dirt, so there's not gonna be much traction. Uh, Sepp Kuss of Team Jumbo Visma has a KOM right now on this, so I'm not expecting to get the KOM, not expecting to be super close, but seeing what me, you know, a normal Cat 3 cyclist can do on this effort compared to what Sepp did, uh, should be interesting. Sepp's going to be in this year's Tour de France 2020. Probably going to be a super domestique for Primoz Roglic. Um, he's won the GC at Tour of Utah, so it's going to be interesting to see what my effort's like compared to him. Let's go. Alright, so heading up to the climb now. So this is the approach. Sunshine Canyon, just going to take it easy up here. Descend down Portman and then come back up. Uh, I want to give you a quick preview of what Portman is like, so I'm going to show you the stats on the screen now. So it's 0.83 miles, around 400 feet, I think, uphill, um, almost a little downhill start, pretty steep around that first switchback, and then flattens out a little bit to like 7%, that's flat. As I said in the preview, it's all on dirt, which makes it pretty difficult. Um, can't really stand up at all, especially that last quarter mile or so, it's around a 12% average to the top. So one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, if you're not familiar with Boulder, we're at around 5,400 feet the town. Um, that means most of this climb is going to be done around 6,300 feet. A uh, bit less oxygen here. Basically, that means you lose around 8 to 10 percent of your power. Um, so, makes Sepp's power numbers even that more impressive. Should be interesting. Um, Sepp went 406. I'm not gonna go 406. Um, I'd be stoked if I get in four minute territory at all. Yeah, we'll see what I can hold. I don't know, stay tuned.
right, so here I am at the top. Um, did a lot better than I expected, actually. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think I was able to crack under five minutes. Uh, that was one of the hardest efforts I'd done. Definitely went out a little bit hard. Yeah, first minute, I think it was around 450 watts, which is a bit higher than I can hold for five minutes at altitude here. Um, but yeah, no, happy with it. Um, gonna go cool down, add on a little bit more endurance, and check out how I did. See you then. All right, uh, so here we are. We're gonna take a look at the segment. Like I said, uh, this is a Foreman Road to Mailboxes segment, 0.83 miles with an average rate of 9%. Uh, you can see SEPS time here was a 4.06. I actually managed to get a 4.45. Uh, definitely surprised by that, but let's take a look at the stats down below here. So, uh, SEP was able to go 4.06 with a power of 4.08. That's around 6.1 watts per kilo for SEP. Uh, while I managed 397 watts, which was a little bit higher than I expected, um, which is about 5.3 watts per kilo for me. So that uh, gave me a time of 4.45 and overall, so SEP has a KOM. So I was actually able to get a top 25 on it, which I was pretty surprised about, as well as a top five on the year. Yeah, so definitely a success. Yeah, so we can deem that a success. Um, didn't think I would come that close to Seps KOM. Uh, really excited that he's going to be repping Team Jumbo Visma and the Americans this year in the tour. Hope they do well, cheering for him. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for more episodes like these. Make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. See you later.